All right, so what's up, Quad Squad? Back at it with another one. And this one, long time in the making, but my wheelchair joystick got replaced, so I couldn't make it about the Samsung and connecting your Bluetooth joystick switch over to your Samsung to control your Samsung with its switch, i.e. your wheelchair joystick. Anyway, so I want to make this video. And by the way, this video, sponsored by Fable. Fable, what's Fable? Fable is basically a company run by people with disabilities with various levels of disability, whether you're blind or you're quadriplegic and you use switch control or you use a dragon on your computer or you use screen reader or whatever you use to control your technology, that is a skill, then that is a skill that can get you paid and help you make a difference in the world. Fable has big companies, two big companies are like, you know, Shopify or Walmart they work with that have the companies that have big websites and they go to Fable and say, hey, can you get your, your testers to test out our website and tell us where we could be more accessible, where we could improve, where, you know, we can make it easier for people with disabilities. So, you know, what's better than, you know, making a difference in the world and making money at the same time? You know, it's a great place to work. You know, I used to work there and, you know, I'm really glad that they were my sp first sponsors. They're a really awesome company. You know, I'm going to leave a link down in the description for you guys to go apply. You know, they pay well, you know, you work from home and, you know, it's really awesome. Anyways, so with that, let's hop into this. This video is how to, yeah, connect your joystick to your phone so that you can work for Fable or just make your life a little bit easier by being able to control your phone with your joystick. Anyways, let's hop right into it. And uh, yeah, we're going to switch over to the camera. And uh, yeah, let's, that's why. Let's hop right into it. I'm going to show you and actually do it right now and figure it out right now and do it with you and you'll see how easy it is to figure out how to connect your Bluetooth joystick to your Samsung phone to control it with a switch. All right, so let's hop right into it. So first off, on your joystick, you're going to want to go in your settings, which is up here, you push and hold. And I mean, if you already have your Bluetooth set up, then it's okay, but still, I just want to show you this. So there's Arnet Mouse, that's your computer. Arnet Mouse 2, that's another computer that you can automatically set up. iDevice is for your iPhone. Arnet iDevice 2. I think I might need to use Arnet iDevice 2. I'm not too sure, or it's iDevice, but we'll figure it out. I'm going to try Arnet iDevice first and see how it goes. So I've got all four on. It's always better to just turn them on. Um, yeah, so then basically go there. Let me see if I can bring this a little closer to you guys. Okay, go exit. Okay, so now you're set up there. So now let's go into Bluetooth devices. So Arnet iDevice, I want to say is that. So let's try that first. So to set this up to make it so that it automatically always connects to that when you go and turn on that iDevice or whatever, you go push and hold forward. So you hear that beep and then you pull backwards. And this just makes it so that it automatically remembers whatever connection you do next so that you don't have to reconnect it every single time. As soon as you turn on our device, iDevice 2, it will automatically just do it. Um, all right, so now you'll see up in this corner, there's a bla flashing little blue Bluetooth icon. So now let's go into the phone. So go into your settings. All right, go down to accessibility, accessibility. So one thing I do do is right now I've got the assistant menu, which is this little thing here, which gives, makes it so that if you can't push buttons, it gives you those buttons on the screen. But that's another thing if you want me to go on about, let me know. Um, okay, so now yeah, this camera's in an inconvenient spot. Um, so now you go to interaction and dexterity. So quads, can't use your fingers very well, so we need to use a switch. Universal switch. All right, so switch help. So this just kind of explains what it does and how it does it. Um, difficulty touching the screen. You know, you can either do a plug-in or a Bluetooth or scan or the same type of thing as the iPhone view. If you haven't seen that, go up in this corner, you know, and you'll see the video, but watch this one first because you came here for Samsung. All right, so then you get Bluetooth switch. So we'll go Bluetooth switch. All right, we got Bluetooth on. In the Bluetooth setting, search for and connect to the accessory. In universal switch setting, add switch. Let's go to Bluetooth. Okay. So we're going to find Arnet iDevice 2. 
Yeah. Bam. All right, so now let's go back. Okay, so this is just the menu on how to walk you through it. So now you gotta go back. This is just to help. So now, all right, so I couldn't figure out how to get to your real switch, but you just have to click the skip when it walks you through the process. Just press skip instead of continue, and then it brings up this this menu where then you can turn on universal switch now. Okay, so you can't use pattern lock with the universal switch. So you gotta go change your password to a number or something. All right, so now that I've set up a different password, now I can turn on the universal switch. So now you turn it on, add switch. If you're wondering how I'm controlling my phone, it's through my computer with my head mouse because the camera's in a really awkward spot. Um, all right, so, then we can plug that so we can make noises. Um, and yeah, so now accessory, connect to accessory and press any of those buttons. Bluetooth, turn on that. There we go. So let me let me redo that. So let's do right. Sorry, it took me a few minutes to start figuring it out. Um, so basically, number one, yeah, like you can use Arnet iDevice 2. I tried to go see if, because it was only gonna let me 0 0.5. You have to hold the thing forward and then let go. With um, my iDevice, you know, I just have to click it. So you just have to set the, the amount of seconds you have to hold it to make it activate. So I just made it to the shortest possible, which is 0 0.2 seconds, which then it's like, All right, I figured it out, got it going. I'll put my, uh, at the end of the video, I'll show the settings that I set. Um, I mean, you can probably, cause you're probably gonna personalize it and figure it out yourself. But, so I didn't wanna put it in the beginning of the video, so I'm gonna put it at the end. So if you want that input and you wanna see how I set it and why it works well for me, then, you know, you can do that. But yeah, so basically, all right, so I've got forward is select, left is go back to the previous item, right, go to the next item, back is um, go home, um, back and hold is another option but anyway so I have it on a really slow scan um, because you know I want the chance to be able to select it without it moving to the next thing but anyway so if you go into your art of it yep all right so you'll see I can move it move it all right okay let's go here there you go and then I can tap or I can go next down, left page, right page, edit, gestures, actions, settings, back, home, recents, hard keys, close. There we go. And yeah, that's how it's done. Um, yeah, let me guys know what you guys think, you know. So I saw in the in the you actually don't even need a switch, like a Bluetooth joystick. You can do all of this by face gestures. What? What? Yeah, so I'm gonna make a separate video about that because that's a whole different topic. I'm gonna see how it works, learn the, learn it, see if it actually works and see. So if you guys wanna see a video on that and how you can control your whole Samsung phone with just your face without a Bluetooth joystick, then definitely leave it down in the comments. Thank you guys for coming, really appreciate it. You know, I'm just trying to give you the technology and the insights to make your life a little bit easier, you know? Anyways. All right, so if you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. Please leave me down in the comments. Let me know what you think, what you guys do. Have you done it? You guys wanna see the next video about how you can control your Samsung with just your face and gestures? That's pretty cool. I'm gonna probably do that, but I wanna hear from you guys if you wanna see it. 
If you want to get some of my merch, you know, just roll with it. Or I'm making a new shirt saying it's just a quad thing or it's a quad thing. Uh, you know, then, uh, yeah, hit, hit up my website. You know, I'm going to leave you guys some, uh, you know, discounts down in the, in the description. And, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Peace. Check out that video, that video, or just come back for the next one. Peace. Right, so now you're going to want to go into your settings. And in your settings, you go down to accessibility, which is at the bottom. You go to interaction and dexterity, and here you'll find your universal switch. There's plenty of other accessibility things if you want to know about. Hit me up in the comments, like I said. And here, so now when you turn it on, you know, you can do a tutorial. You can do quick setup and presets. You know, so for my settings, right, data, go into settings. And, you know, my scan default method is item by item. Because you can do group, but then you have to do select, select, select before you get to the right one. I just like item by item, you know, that I can go as far as I want or not as far as I want. And not have to go back if I click the wrong group. Um, scan method, I didn't touch that one. Number of scans, I didn't really touch that one. Just, yeah, you guys will figure it out more you do it. Scan speed, I put it to the lowest setting so that it doesn't change as I'm trying to select something. Um, yeah, and with that, you know, pause on first item. It's so that when you, you click the select, because you want to select the certain thing, the first option you get is select. So you want to select that item. So I made it pause on that. So again, it doesn't change before I get the chance to select. So that's that, you know, on a, yeah. And then the other thing I was talking about is the tap duration. So this way you can actually make it so that you can do like a tap forward with your joystick and it will select something. And then if you want to also add, you know, tap and hold for three seconds, then it will allow you to do that. But if you put this number too high, you know, you'll be holding forever and then you only get one option. So that's why I did this is so that, you know, it's just a quick, you tap your joystick forward 0.5 seconds and then it activates. Um, and yeah. And then with that, all of my, um, all my switches are in the back. So if I go back here, like forward is select item, right is move to the next item, left is proof to the previous item, three seconds forward, so push it forward three seconds and hold it, and then let go, it will turn auto scan off, or on, tap it backwards, that's back, tap and hold for three seconds is go home. And you know, that works well for me, you know, it's just like how you would use a TV remote. And with that, that's basically all of everything you need to know for right now to get you started, and then you personalize it on your own. I almost forgot. So to edit your menu setting, and what comes up on your menu, you go to here. And with that, you know, you turn personalize it, what you use the most, how you use it, what works best for you. And that's how you set that up. Anyways, that's it. And then let me know if you have any difficulties, leave it down in the comments, you know, maybe check out one of these videos on the screen. And uh, yeah, I'll hit you up on the next one. Peace.